Hey y'all, it's Deja aka Sunny D and in today's video we're making apple turnovers or personal apple pies if you want to call them that. On my channel I make cooking and baking videos as well as videos about my health journey and my weight loss journey. So if you would like to see more videos like this or more videos about my health journey then go ahead and subscribe down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload because like you never know how good the next video is gonna be I don't ever know how good the next video is gonna be until I record it and edit it so you could be in for a pleasant surprise like today all right and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so here is all the things you're gonna need it's just a quick little overview but we're gonna go into detail about it So you're going to need a pan that's deep enough for everything, about three apples. I'm going to need some tablespoons and a teaspoon knife, your measuring cups, lemon juice, nutmeg, cinnamon, some salt. I use iodized because it's all I have. <laughs> all purpose flour. And you're also going to need some sugar which and some water and also a pan. So so here I'm just starting off by peeling off the skin of the apples. Then I am cutting them in half so that I can get the core of it out. Once I got all those out, I kind of did it off camera. I went ahead and rinsed them off as well as wiped down my cutting board because some of the seeds um, were still in there and I wiped off my knife as well. And here I'm just dicing up these um, to the size that I want. You can either slice yours or you can dice them a little bigger. And now here I'm going ahead and putting in a full teaspoon of lemon juice over the apples so they don't get brown too quick. I'm just stirring that around so that they're all covered in lemon juice. And here I'm putting in a full cup of water as well as a fourth cup of water. And I'm also going to add in a half cup of sugar. I'm adding in a, tea, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Also a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. I go ahead and add in a pretty generous pinch of salt and now I'm going to use my half tablespoon to put in three tablespoons of flour. I did not have cornstarch. If you have cornstarch just use a tablespoon and a half. I'm just taking my whisk to whisk it all together. Make sure it's incorporated before I put it on the stove to heat it up. Now here I'm cutting my burner on high so that it can start to get boiling I'm using the whisk to um, make sure there's no chunks because I noticed as I was stirring with my spatula there were like chunks of the seasoning and the sugar together so I use my whisk just to get that incorporated into the water And now I'm going to turn the heat down to four and I'm going to let this cook for about eight minutes or until my apples are soft enough to my liking so that water mixture can um, thicken up. And I'm also stirring it every now and then so that um, it doesn't get burned or stick to the pot. And once the eight minutes are up, I go ahead and turn the heat off and remove it from the burn. Here I am setting my oven to preheat to 425. And I'm taking some flour and spreading it over my pan so that they don't stick. Here I'm just taking my pie crust and I'm cutting it into fourths. Also I found that it's much easier to um, not have the apple pies explode when you refrigerate your filling first. And then I go ahead and put um, about a spoonful in there because I don't want to overstuff it. 
and then I'm taking some water on my finger and just putting it on the edges of the pie crust and then I fold it over and press it down and then I use a fork to press it down even more. So I made a egg wash with just one egg and about a fourth cup of water. I whisk together the egg wash and spread it over each apple turnover. I use my fork because I don't have a brush but if you have a brush it'll make it so much easier. I put them in the bottom rack for about 12 minutes and here's how the first batch came out. They oozed out a little bit on the top and I also went ahead and did a taste test because I was scared <laughs> that they didn't taste good. I don't know why I sniffed it. I usually don't do that but I just felt the need to. I took a little, I was taking small bites because it was fresh out the oven and it was hot and I didn't want to burn my tongue but it was actually really good. It was delicious. And here I am just doing the same thing with the rest of them. Um, these I didn't do the slit or the water thing and they exploded even more. So I only suggest that you put water on the edges before you seal them. They don't explode in the oven like you're going to see this second batch did. <laughs> then I baked those in the oven for 12 minutes like I did the first ones. So um... Yeah, these came out a little ugly. <laughs> um, I think the reason these like exploded is because I didn't do the water thing on the edge like I did with the other ones. But whatever, I I don't these really care that much because I'm eating out. them anyways. They were really good. I kind of wish I wish I could have fit a bit more filling on the inside, but nonetheless, it was still really good. when I'm recording this part of the video it is Friday the 5th I make the turnovers on Monday of this week by Tuesday I had already eaten seven <laughs> I made 11 of those turnovers and by the end of Tuesday I ate seven so hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you actually try out this recipe because it's so freaking easy it's not my personal recipe i'm gonna leave it in the description down below so you can go ahead and go to her recipe because it is quick and easy if you liked this video and you've made it this far thank you so very much and i also want to ask you to comment down below what event if any you would serve these at would you serve it at like a birthday party maybe even thanksgiving dinner instead of making a whole freaking pie since it is the month of November and a lot of people are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving, I'm going to be posting a lot of cooking videos as far as what you can make for Thanksgiving, even if it's just you, because it's just me. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to go see my family for Thanksgiving. Moment, we have 45 subscribers. Yay! So thank you so much for those of you that have just subscribed. I really appreciate your subscriptions and I really hope you enjoy my content. <laughs> and if you don't, that's fine. I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Sometimes I'm not even my own self's cup of tea. Grammar, did that make sense? Probably not. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and also a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday if you are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving. Sending everyone love and positive vibes and virtual hugs because there's still a pandemic so I can't actually hug everyone and all right. <laughs> Bye y'all.